for this file, you're going to insert the Porch Cody file again. Uh, but this time when you do it, you are going to click this drop down arrow and click Link to File. And when you do that and insert it, it is going to show up in your document right here. And this is now a linked file and I want you to save it and check your File Explorer window to see the size. And it's going to be smaller than the last time that the last file that you did when you inserted the Porch uh, Cody file, which I believe was about 57 kilobytes. This time it's going to be smaller. And it's smaller because it is no longer an embedded picture. It is a linked picture. It's So record your size here. And what happens with a linked picture is if I sent this Word file with the Cody picture to a friend, if it is linked, when they go to open this Word file, they will not be able to see it unless you also send the picture with the file itself. That's how this file size, the Word uh, file size is going to be kept smaller. So here's a little, uh, here's a little summary. Instead of the word Illustrator, just pretend we're talking about Word here. So when you embed an image, which means that all you did was insert the picture just the regular way, you didn't go down and link it, then you're embedding the image. And there's some good things about that. It means that you can send your Word document to your friend. The picture is embedded in there. It's going to display. But it is going to uh, be a larger size than had you linked the file. The other thing is that uh, you can actually change the image file in Photoshop. And when you reopen your Word file with the linked file, it should update. Uh, so that's for embedded images. When you have linked images, they're independent of your Word file. but it, it, So it keeps the Word file size small. And you can have any number, you could have 10 images of Cody on the porch and the file size is going to stay small because it's just always referring to the file in order to display the picture. But what happens is if you sent that file to someone or you accidentally moved the Cody Porch file, then you're going to have trouble and this is what's going to happen. You're going to see this uh, message here. The linked image cannot be displayed. The file may have been moved. So there's pros and cons of inserting things as linked uh, images as opposed to embedded. I just want you to understand the difference.